Hey there, my name is Titus and I'm one of the advisors at Breeze Church Management. So glad that you took a few minutes just to jump in and learn a little bit more about how smart tags work within your Breeze system. Why don't we go ahead and jump right in? So I've already come into tags and I went ahead and I created this tag and we're going to call it men's group. It's under our men's ministry folder. And I went ahead and I put one person in this men's group tag. And I did that intentionally. I put Marie Bourne, who would not fall under the criteria of men's ministry and men's group because she, in this instance, is a female. So we're actually going to remove her. But instead of just coming right here and removing her out of the group, I'm going to show you a quick way to remove people while adding people using an automation that we call Smart Tags. So let's go ahead and go into our account settings and then come into automations. And smart tags are just like what they sound like. It's a smart way, an automated way of doing tags based off of the criteria that you put in into the system. So let's come in and do add task and let's do smart tag. So I'm going to select the filter of the people that I want to pull into the tag that I created. So I'm going to do people who match this filter. I'm going to choose gender and I'm going to choose male because I want only the males to come into this specific tag. So I'm going to do use filter and select the tag and come into men's group. So it gives me the option. It's going to say when this task runs, also remove people from this tag that do not match the selected filter. And when I click this, watch what happens. It gives me a big red warning and basically it's saying if there's anybody else in this tag that does not match the filter that you selected, the system is automatically going to remove them. So watch what happens to Marie Bourne whenever I add this task. I'll come in and add the task and then I'm going to go right back into that tag. And you see men's group now has 16 people instead of the one and there's a little lock icon right there. I'll show you what that looks like whenever we click on the tag. Now you see that Marie Bourne is no longer there and it's all the men that I have in my database. But there is this little lock icon and it tells you it's locked up here. Again, what that's saying is because there's a smart tag in place and because we selected the option to remove anybody that does not match the smart tag, we cannot add anybody in just by going to their profile and adding them to this tag. They must align with that filter that we set. If we decide, well actually, we don't want it to be locked, we'd rather it be unlocked and we could still add people manually, then simply just go right back into that smart tag that we created. You'll see it here, this smart tag, it's people that match the filter, which are in our case was male, would be assigned to this men's group tag. You can come in and you can deselect this option. It'll remove that scary warning sign. And now when we, when we update the task and come back into tags, we'll see that there's no longer that icon that shows that it's locked and you could add anybody else into this tag that fit this criteria. I hope this is very helpful and explanatory about how to use smart tags in your Breeze system. If you have any other questions about smart tags or any other part of Breeze, please feel free to check out support.breezechms.com and we would love to help you. Thanks so much for watching and have a blessed day.